Hey y'all, welcome to April Diamonds Day 9. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today I'm going over the five icks I have in Second Life. So let's get into it. These are in no particular order. Number one is spilling tea on friends. For you to befriend someone in Second Life, and then you decide to go on a public platform like Facebook and tell this person's business that they confided in you with privately is very nasty work, and I feel like those are the people that karma goes for first. When I tell you the amount of people that I have seen on Second Life Facebook who have gone out their way to talk so badly about someone who weeks before they were taking pictures with, calling them their bestie and telling them how much they meant to them on their birthdays, telling all of their business is absolutely ridiculous. There are many people in Second Life that do not have people that they can confide and talk to in real life. So when they make friends in Second Life, these are people that are really truly their friends and they talk to them and they tell them things like someone would tell a friend. And so these people become really, really hurt behind that. And that's understandable because you're telling them information that you would tell a friend and they're taking that information and telling everybody around them what's going on with you simply because they're mad at you. Uh, they're mad at you now. They don't want to be your friend anymore. So they feel like they don't owe you any loyalty. I personally believe that even when friendship ends you might not owe that person loyalty as far as many other things but i feel like when it comes to the private conversations that you all have had you do owe them loyalty and you owe them the respect of not telling their information now if they go out their way to tell your information that's the time where you need to be a bigger person yes you can go tit for tat but what does that really do what does that really do now everybody knows both of y'all business and it 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 wasn't for anybody to know in the first place. Be mindful of the people who you decide to befriend in Second Life and the information that you that you choose to share with one another and have the understanding that at some point in time, if you two fall out, they may tell your business. So you have to have the discernment to know the type of people who you are befriending and also the discernment to know what you should and should not be telling people as far as your personal business. I've seen it happen all too often in Second Life where people tell all types of business. When I tell you, it is sad. It is sad. And the people who get their business told simply because they're like, I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to be in the sorority anymore. I don't want to be in the fraternity anymore. And now it's like, all oh, they're like, you're sleeping with this person in second life. And that's a married person in second life. And they're married in real life. And they got this going on. And your mama was a crackhead and you were adopted. And something happened to you when you was a child. It's like, what? Why would you tell all their information? So for me, that's that's like that's very, very nasty, nasty, dirty work for people to do. And you are a very horrible person to do that to people. I very much so believe that people are not very much so removed from their real lives and second life. I feel like the only thing that is far removed from who they are in real life is their avatars. And sometimes not even that because people will go out their way to have their avatars mimic what they look like in real life. And it's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you are a nasty, vindictive, backstabbing per person in real life, you're gonna be like that in second life. You don't gain a new perspective simply because you're in a virtual world. You're that same person. If you like to sleep with people, men in real life, you're gonna do that in second life. And it's gonna be much easier to do. So yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't be that type of person, please. Or have the discernment to just not tell people all of your business. Number two is automatically going to someone's real life when you can't find anything to say about their second life. Now, another thing that I have noticed is when people get in arguments, specifically on uh, Facebook, the second life side of Facebook, when people get into arguments with people and they can't talk about their avatar, they can't talk about their relationship, they can't talk about their lifestyle in Second Life, they can't talk about anything, they don't have a leg to stand on in Second Life, they automatically go to real life. And the first things are, you're probably fat in real life, you're probably poor in real life, you probably don't have this in real life, you probably don't have that in real life, you don't have any internet, which is the weirdest comeback in my opinion, because you have to have the internet to be on Second Life. 
you you won't even have a good connection on a hot spot, I would assume. And if you're somebody who goes to Starbucks to get on Second Life, then you're somebody who goes to Starbucks to get on Second Life. I'm not sure as to how their internet connection is, but what I do know is you won't have a better connection than in your house. So that has always been like a weird thing for for me to see people say um, on different platforms is you probably don't you probably don't have internet. If you're going to talk about somebody in Second Life, keep it in Second Life. And if you don't have a leg to stand on, then take that L about you not having a leg to stand on and keep it pushing. I think it's very, very weird when people do that. And I see that very, very often, especially if they know behind the Abbey that you might be lacking in other people's opinion in certain areas. They'll always be quick to go to that and it's so weird it's like do better and be better number three is hiding your platonic friends slash associates when you're in a relationship now this goes for men and women but more or less for the men who do it me personally this is the this is the only thing on this list that actually can apply to me I have been in many situations where I have had male friends in second life where we are friends that is it we are just friends and they will go out of their way to like sneak and be my friend when they get in relationships they're like well I don't want my girl to feel some type of way about me being friends with you and I'm like what's the deal with you being friends with me now in real life I understand that this is something that people deal with as well I get that I promise you I do but in second life I just kind of feel like it's a bit absurd that's just how I feel about it because if you want to have a female friend in Second Life, I feel like of all places, Second Life should be the place where you put your foot down and tell somebody, yeah, no, you're not going to tell me who I can and cannot be friends with. I do. I go through that in real life. So you're not about to do that to me. You're not about to put those parameters on me in Second Life. But when I tell you the amount, it's been more more than five friends, more than five friends that I've had that were men who once they got a girlfriend, it was like, we can hang out. And I never really, we never really hung out. It was like, even just having conversations. Now you making me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You make me feel like we're doing something wrong. And all we're doing is being friends. We're not hooking up on the side. We're, I'm not like a little sad freak or nothing like, nothing like that. Strictly friends. A friend that you'll sit and say, do you like these shoes? Have you seen these shoes? Can you give me the link to this? Do you have a landmark to this? Can you come drop this down on my land? Things like that. In Second Life, you're going to get your feelings hurt. It's going to happen because these are real life people behind the avatars. People are still going to move like people in Second Life. So understand that that's something that can happen. But to try to hide your friend because you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend because you're in a relationship i feel like that's very weird just stop being friends with that person and if you guys want to come and revisit that friendship uh at a later date if you explain to the person that is truly a platonic friendship or however you want to get around to bringing everything back together then do that otherwise stop being friends with that person and be happy in your relationship it's unfair to the person that has to hide the other the friend and it's unfair to the friend as well and it's also unfair to the person that you're in a relationship because now you're doing something behind their back even though it's not anything as far as cheating it's basically it's being dishonest because you're telling somebody okay I'm not going to talk to them even though that's my friend and but you're still doing it so everybody is losing in this situation so just stop being friends with the person and have a happy relationship Number four is being older and having young people beef. If you are 30 plus, this is just my personal opinion on this. Of course, all of these icks are my personal opinions. If you are 30 plus years old, you should not be arguing with nobody. I Listen, I feel the way that I feel and I'm going to always feel that way. You should not be going out of your way to be weird and vindictive towards someone in second life because they made you mad you are in your 30s and beyond please get a grip please get a grip it is okay to walk away 
It is okay to not argue with someone. It is okay to tell someone, you know what? I'm gonna let you have this one. I'm not about to argue with you. If you wanna sit and post things and you wanna be mean and nasty, you go up, you go right on ahead and do it. I'm not feeding into that because I'm a grown person. I'm, I'm in my 30s. Yeah, you're grown when you're 18 and things like that. But mentally, maturity wise, if you are 30 plus, your mind frame the majority of the time is going to be different from that of someone that's 21 or 25. It's like, please act your age, act your age. You should not be arguing with people um, about anything. You shouldn't have beef with anybody or anything. If somebody is doing something that you don't like, move around. Don't go out your way to try to defame that person. Don't go out your way to try to spread lies about that person and break them up from their family members. I've seen people go as far as to make up lies about people and, and the people will lose their family members in second life because the family believed what the other person was saying or because it made sense. And so people lost friends and family members and children, child avatars over just people being mad about stuff to have beef with somebody and you're 30 plus in second life shame on you absolute shame on you you definitely could be doing everything different you could be choosing so many different things to do in second life other than being that type of person just do better and lastly number five is pregnancy role play where the dad does not stick around I have a few medical friends and the stories that I have heard about how the dads, the dads who are men behind the Abbeys and the dads in Second Life who are women behind the Abbeys, the way that they will leave the woman high and dry during the pregnancy is astounding. If you are not wanting to stick around for someone's pregnancy, don't get them pregnant in second life. People in second life, especially when they are in relationships, they take pregnancy role play very, very seriously. And there is nothing wrong with that. So for you to take a person who was taking the pregnancy role play seriously and you leave them in the middle of visits, you're not coming to ultrasounds, you're missing appointments, you're not at the delivery because you guys are broken up by then. That is crazy to me. That is absolutely crazy to me. There are so many people in Second Life who do um, pregnancy role play in Second Life because they are not able to have children in real life. And so Second Life becomes a place where they can have children and do something that they're not able to do, unfortunately, in real life. So for you to be with someone and nine times out of 10, this is information that you know about them and you go out of your way to make it where you guys break up. In the middle of a pregnancy package, it is crazy to me. To make people single parents in Second Life is, that is beyond weird. Beyond weird. The fact that you are even able to move like that with no regrets is sickening. I've seen it happen so many times in Second Life. You see it on Second Life Facebook where a lot of times people will break up during the pregnancy during the pregnancy and be single parents. You guys are really creating single family households, single moms and single dads in Second Life. What is wrong with some of you guys? Like, I don't get it. I feel like that is a very big ick because like I said, a lot of people have children in Second Life because they are not able to have children in real life. And so for you to do that to somebody is beyond me. It's just absolutely beyond me and it is beyond sad and sickening and you should just want to do better for yourself. Even if you don't want to be with that person anymore, don't leave them doing their pregnancy. At least stick beside them until they have the baby and then y'all can do whatever y'all going to do, but at least be supportive during the pregnancy. But I feel like don't have kids with nobody in second life. If you're not planning on being with them in second life, don't nobody want to be a single parent in second life. If they do, then they're not going to go out of their way to find somebody to be in a relationship with in second life and get pregnant in second life with that partner. They're just going to be single moms. They're going to start it off by themselves and they're going to finish it that way because that's what they're choosing to do. That's something else that you do have the choice to do in second life. But for you to 
go out of your way to basically create a single mom in second life and you probably was the one that really wanted somebody to have a baby with you is very very weird i've seen it happen so many times in second life and it absolutely crushes and devastates the mom and that's very understandable so people need to be better in second life as a whole people just really need to be better and do better in second life it's very very easy to be a better version of you in second life but it's only going to work if you want it to so you guys, those are my five icks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The landmark to this place where I found this balloon ride will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.